Three major religions celebrate big holidays today, but it led to significant violence in the Holy Land. Greg Palcott has more from London. Good Friday, Passover, and Ramadan all converging on the same day, leading to clashes in the Holy Land. Allahu Akbar! More than 150 Palestinians were reportedly wounded when Friday prayers spilled over into the worst violence in the city in nearly a year. It happened at the Al-Aqsa Mosque, the third holiest site in Islam and the most sacred site for Jews. <laughs> Israeli forces now being deployed in big numbers, hoping to stop the violence before it spirals out of control. We are working to calm things on Temple Mount and throughout Israel. At the same time, we are prepared for any scenario. It's not clear how the clash has started. Israeli police say some 60,000 Palestinians were attending Friday prayers and became violent, throwing stones at security forces. But the Palestinians tell a different story, claiming only a small number of protesters were throwing stones, and Israel used it as a pretext to crack down on the entire crowd. This oppression and this barbarism by the occupation repressed our people and emptied the mosque compound while the world was watching. We condemn this. Despite today's violence, holiday preparations are proceeding in other parts of the city. Christians marking Good Friday with a traditional procession, while Jews get ready for Passover, which starts at sundown. I trust the, the Israeli government and the Israeli security, and I, I, I really feel I could be here even in the shuk and still still feel secure and, and not, not, not have too much fear. Israeli police say they have arrested hundreds of suspects as they ramp up their security crackdown. In London, Greg Palcott, Fox News.